Hello everyone, this is week 5 and it goes from May 11th to the 15th. Okay, and our objective for this week is to use the main elements of the present perfect tense to refer to actions that started in the past and continue to the present. Okay, very good. Now we are going to move to our books, page 4. Four nine language key. According to what we studied in the class, in the virtual class, okay, the present perfect is used to express an action that happened at that indefinite time in the past. This happened in the past. We form the present perfect with auxiliary verb have, yes, have or has, and the past participle uh, form of the verb. For example, I have seen that movie, this is affirmative, and she hasn't visited China, that's negative. We can use the time expressions just already and yet with this tense. We, ju we use just for something that happened immediately before, already to confirm information that has happened at some time, and yet for things that haven't happened, but we expect them to happen in the future, okay? Look at this example, she has just arrived. If you say just, it means that it happened some moments ago, a few minutes ago, just. He has just arrived, two minutes ago. Uh, he has already packed her bags, so you confirm your information and she has not boarded yet the the plane she has not boarded the plane yet so this is an expectation okay this is going to happen in the future it's like when i tell you did you finish have you finished and you say not yet not yet but it's going to happen in the future okay in the exercise 3 you just have to use these three words to complete the to complete the sentences, okay? Just, already, and yet. You are going to use these three words to complete these seven sentences. Just, just, already, and yet. So remember, just for something that happened uh, a few moments ago, already to confirm the information, and yet for negative sentences or for questions, yes? The some things, some things that are going to happen in the future. Yes, in the exercise number four, you are going to make a list of interesting things, interesting things that visitors can see in a city that you want to visit. This space is for that. Okay, one city, one city that you are going to visit, and then you are going to make a list of interesting things that people can see there. The museum the shopping mall or shopping center, the amusement park, okay, uh, there is one aquatic park, uh, etc. Interesting things, the downtown, uh, things that you can see in that city that you are going to visit. On the page 50 you have a text, okay, you have a text, it is called the legacy of Eleanor Roosevelt, Yes, so you have to read this text. That's what you have to do. Read the text, then discuss with a classmate what you would do to help people in your country if you had an important political position. What would your legacy be? Your legacy. If you don't know what legacy is, you can go to the dictionary and find the meaning of the word legacy. Okay, what is legacy? Please. Not in Spanish, but like the meaning or the definition in English or a synonym, okay? The keywords are advocate, boost, disadvantaged, greet, legacy, and relief. And finally, on the page 51, exercise, exercises 2 and 3, what do you have to do? Listen, read the legacy of Eleanor Roosevelt, the text on the previous page. Identify each part of the research report. In the spaces below, write down a useful phrase from each part of the report. Introduction, 
body ideas, body examples and conclusion. Where is the introduction? This is the introduction at the beginning. At the beginning of the text, that's the introduction. From the introduction, you are going to get uh, useful phrases, use, uh, phrases that are uh, useful, okay, that uh, can give you an idea of the text. Body ideas and body examples in the middle, the text, the text, the paragraph in the middle, and in the final paragraph, okay, after President Roosevelt died, etc., that is paragraph number three, the conclusion. In the conclusion, you have to write also useful phrases that uh, tell people um, the idea of the conclusion. Okay, exercise three, write down some ideas for a new app. On the space below what problem would it solve who would use it present your new app at the press conference you're going to present this in the virtual class an app what is an app an application an application like whatsapp an application like facebook like twitter like instagram yes that is an app you are going to create invent a, a new app well you are going to imagine that you invent a new app and you're going to answer these questions. What problem would it solve? Who would use it? And then you have to present this to the class. Okay, very good. Uh, you have some uh, important information here, like uh, it gives you ideas to write a text. So you can read this, this to uh, write your texts. Thank you very much for your attention. Okay, and think this is all for this week. Bye-bye. Blessings.